But now I'm sure you're familiar with the basics of Agility Pro and Agility Team, writing your queries, running them, and getting uh, useful results. But you may not be aware of is one of the more interesting and unique features of Agility Pro and Team, uh, and that's the active catalog we've built in. Let me show you a couple quick examples of how that works. So if I take an example right here uh, and look at this total refunds logic, just by highlighting this, right click, and saving this to my catalog, I'm able to um, add some uh, enriched metadata to this snippet. So let's call this my customer total refunds calc. I can give it a nice description. Uh, and I can put this into a uh, directory where I have access. So because I'm using Agility Team, uh, I have my own user directory in this catalog, but I can also share um, team queries and team logic, which we'll see in a second. And this isn't a full query, it's a calculation, uh, which is helpful for finding these later. So I'm going to hit uh, create. I got a message in the corner that was successful. And if I now click on this tab in the upper left and look at my catalog, we'll see that I have the customer total refunds calc is now part of it. And it's sitting alongside some other calculations I've already created. If I preview this, um, I can see the code that I captured as well as the description and some metadata about when this was created and edited. Um, and if we did, if that's all we did, we would have a nice inline uh, data dictionary. We've taken this one step further um, to make this really powerful. Um, we've allowed you to now uh, delete some of this repetitive SQL and actually insert uh, references uh, to the catalog. So when I run this code, it's actually going to look up the definition of the total refund calculation, insert it, and uh, return the result. Now this becomes very powerful because it means if I have, um, you know, a number of scripts that use similar logic or maybe uh, different versions of this, uh, you know, over time with different uh, parameters, um, I can still have a consistent logic and I have one place uh, to change this code uh, if and when I should happen to you know, have a new uh, example uh, attribute, uh, uh, in this case, uh, a new uh, condition in that, in that case statement. So I change the logic in one place and the next time I run it, it'll pick up the change. Um, so this works for both the calculation. Um, it also works for uh, an entire uh, view or batch um, and it's integrated with our autocomplete. So uh, a new user might take advantage of the catalog, a new employee, um, who's been asked to start to pull together some uh, customer analysis um, might start instead of from, from step one, uh, they might go ahead and start with access to the customer profile that the team is already working from. So I can start to type here and it's actually filtering down the catalog and showing me which, uh, which uh, uh, objects or views in here um, exist. And when I run this, um, it's actually going to prompt me for a parameter because this view uses a parameter, uh, which is another nice way to create reusability and, and governance. Uh, but it's actually going to go ahead and execute um, all of the SQL to define these customer metrics here. So uh, just another example of how you could use the catalog uh, at a bigger scale, not, not just a single calculation, uh, but a whole, a whole view. And should you want to expand that, um, you can always go and take a look at um, what these objects are, uh, and um, I can see here, for example, that you know, my customer uh, profile query in my catalog uh, contains a number of references to the team's uh, best calculations for you know, how many days has the customer been, uh, how many days has the person been a customer, and their average sales per trip, um, all the standard governed metrics uh, that I want to make sure are run the same every time. So when I run this, um, it's going to give me that same result as, as calling the uh, entire query as a view. So just a couple quick examples of how you could start to standardize some of your logic, uh, make that really easy for new users to find, um, and simplify the maintenance of your business logic by having that all in one place. Hope that helped.